Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And I had such a great response to my Tim and his medical stuff video from yesterday that I decided that since I had a little bit of extra time, that I would quickly check into his channel and see what Tim is up to today. But before we get started, let me just throw my fair use disclaimer out there and just let everybody know that even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States, this is just me roasting Tim. I do not treat or diagnose. I guess I roast him a little bit because I do feel that Tim <laughs> does things that potentially are not honest with his audience. And it would be good. He wants lots of, you know, prayers and blessings. So he set the scene yesterday that he went to see his dermatologist and he's had all these different areas biopsied in order to find out, obviously, you know, what is the cytology behind the lesions that he's seeing on his skin. So I, you know, what cell, what is causing it? Is it a squamous cell carcinoma? Is it a basal cell carcinoma? Is it benign? Is it a melanocyte? Is it a melanoma? What is going on? So is it an actinic keratosis? What's happening? So Tim has had some more things removed from his skin. And one of the things that we noticed in the car yesterday was a urinal, which is interesting because we're about to find out that, you know, Tim has not changed any of his content <laughs> and uh, says coffee 21 times. All right, guys, I've talked enough. <laughs> I've set the scene here. Let me just let, uh, I sped him up 1.5, guys. So he's a little bit quicker because we want to get through this video. So I have a feeling Judge Mathis might be out today. Let's put it that way. Let's go, Tim. Take it away. Let's get the griff going. Hey, I'm Vice Sarasota Tim. What happened to morning chat? <laughs> well, it's uh, 845. It's still morning and we're chatting. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I made uh, bacon, eggs, coffee. You should have been there. <laughs> but um, I didn't video. I wasn't showered yet. And then I got a shower. I got on my new shoes. I got on a fresh shirt and I got in my car and I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking about that golf. I've got uh, some little whack-a-moles on me, you know, where they took off some things, but they're very minor where they just scraped off for biopsy. It's not affecting my golf swing. So I think I'm going to go over to the driving range and hit a small bucket and see if I still. Well, Tim, if you are feeling pain there, let me suggest that you might take, uh, you know, some Tylenol for a little bit of pain relief. If you're concerned about that. My biggest concern is it's, Still looks pretty sunny out in Florida. Do you have any sunscreen on? Are you going to be wearing any long sleeve shirts in order to protect your skin? Or are you just going to go out there and fry it a little bit more? I, I'm just curious. I'm thinking it's the latter option, which doesn't sound safe. So huh, I guess you'll be keeping these dermatologists in Florida forever employed. Thank you for the business, Tim. Thank you for the business. <laughs> oh, got it. And then I might book around and go play some golf. <clears throat> and then after that, um, I'm at a crossroads. Now, I am going to preface, I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And you're probably trying to figure out why would I be here trying to make commentary on somebody who I am not related to. It's because Tim is somebody who has no expertise in anything. He has no expertise. He's, he's no expertise except on how not to have managed your entire life in a very wealthy country and come out the other end at 60 some years old with not diddly squat in your pocket until you, you enriched yourself with taxpayers' money through PPP and EIDL loans is pretty much what happened. And then he kind of hit a little bit of payday because he potentially already had a monetized channel on YouTube. And so when that one video blew up, he was able to capture that money from that. And he's just been kind of riding that ever since. This guy says toffee 20 times in this video. Okay. So you can, you can, you can get a drinking game going on this one, guy. Take, take a shot. Every time he mentions the word coffee or griffs, you'll be <laughs> completely intoxicated by the end of this all right keep going tim i said enough i'm thinking about going doing having and being <laughs> oh man it never ends because i'm such an unsettled soul i'm very happy with my life it's just that i want to live as much of it as i can i don't like uh doing um i do like doing the same thing every day you know like my routine i like going to the gym and all that and i just want to do the fun the most fun things there are and i still have it 
a burning desire to go and travel. And while I have the ability, the means and everything else to do it. Uh, the only but Tim, you just went on a cruise, need I remind you, of which I don't think you even left on a single excursion. So your idea of traveling is just being on a floating buffet. So let's just kind of knock that down. And then the rest of it, you do the exact same activities, just in a different background. Same Walmart, same McDonald's coffee, same golf swings, all terrible, all nonsense. Tim, I'm going to put this quite clearly and don't take this the wrong way, but you are giving me strong hobo schedule vibes today. And for those of you, I'm obviously trying to get away from the YouTube sensors who are not familiar with what a hobo schedule is. Tim is the epitome of it. So ladies, be warned. This man's going to be gold digging for travel. Okay. And he hobo schedule on men too. Because he's going to be doing a lot of it in this one. Keep going, Tim. The thing I got to do is one more doctor appointment tomorrow. Um, I meant to Google this. Someone uh, told me if you get a flu shot and you're 65 or older, it's a different flu shot. Is there any truth to that? Uh, I haven't Googled it yet, but someone had mentioned that it's a much stronger dose. And does that is that bad? Is that good? Uh, and here's another one for you. I know this is going to make the comments uh, get going. So I'm thinking about traveling and, you know, and with the crasher. That's my uh, Flagstaff camper I live in. And I tow it with a uh, 21. I've never heard of that. I've never heard that somebody who's 65 getting a stronger flu vaccine. Now, for the pneumonia vaccines, if you had not been getting pneumonia vaccines throughout your adult years and you're suddenly 65 and you've had no pneumonia vaccines, then you will get more of a stronger um, vaccine to that will cover more uh, varieties of pneumonia. So you'll get more of a, you know, uh, that type that's different, but not flu. Flu is just an annual vaccine that's made and they have to see which type of virus is actually, you know, in the southeast part of the globe. And that gives an indication as to what's going to be the needed uh, viral strain in order to create the vaccine. That's it's so mixed up. It's not. You just don't talk about things unless you've researched it and you're clear. Okay, Tim? All right. God, I'm going to make this video long, and I don't want it to be long. On Toyota Tundra. So I called up Toyota today. I know this is going to set. I know who, who is going to set off. I, I've never heard this before. You know, dealers are normally the last place you want to go for service. Uh, they're never honest. They always want to charge you more than you should pay and <coughs> charge you for things you don't need. So I called up the Toyota dealer, and I said, yeah, I'd like to find out how much it would be to change my transmission fluid. And she said, okay, um, what kind of vehicle is it? And I don't care really what it costs as long as it's not stupid uh, because I'm not, I'm not going to go to an independent for this. Uh, oil changes, I go to Walmart. I'd take it to them for the uh, transmission fluid too, but they don't do that. So I'll take it to the dealer. I looked online, it's between $165 and $265. And I thought about getting a spark. Okay, really? All right, hey, all right, hey. Already, Tim, my lord, child. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Are you seriously trying to get your uh, subscribers to pay for a transmission change? Like a transmission fluid change on your vehicle? I don't understand. You talk a lot about money. That's all I'm saying. And I, I'm not saying that it, I'm rich, I'm a grad student. People are like, oh, aren't you a nurse? Don't you make decent money? I do make decent money, but I do work part time because I am in school also. And I have tried to work full time and be in grad school. And it led me to a burnout <laughs> and getting really sick from a post-surgical infection. So I'm not going down that route again. So I do my little bit of YouTube for a little bit of extra People are very generous and do give me, buy me a coffees. And if people want to contribute to my content creation and trying to call out other people, then there we go. But at least I'm honest in my grift. Not like Tim. Well, exchange. <laughs> well, this young lady comes on and she well, maybe said, he is. you don't change your transmission fluid. You have a sealed transmission. And unless there's something wrong, don't mess with it. I said, you got to be kidding. You're telling me that this transmission fluid never needs to be changed. She says, I'm telling you, <laughs> if there's not a problem with your transmission, do not mess with it. And so I Google it. I just couldn't believe this. 
And the first thing that comes up is do it every uh, 30, 50, I don't know, 60, between 50 and 100. It totally said do it. Then I Googled, is my Tundra, I, I was told my Tundra transmission fluid never needs to be changed. And then Google brought that up. Yep, don't change it. It's a sealed system. Unless there's an issue, don't mess with it. So <laughs> based on the uh, Toyota dealer, she said since 2010, uh, you don't mess with them. Um, there's a thing in your car called a driver's manual. And inside that driver's manual, you could actually look up probably in the more complete edition, maybe not the quick brief manual. You could probably have looked up the word transmission fluid in that handbook. If you still have it in that mess that you carry in your car and had seen what to do. king of the Google searches. I said, okay, well, how about spark plugs? She says, well, they're, they're recommended every 30,000 or more, but I couldn't believe this lady's telling me this. She says, but everything varies from car to car, depending on how you drive, your weather conditions, how your car is running, blah, 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 blah. In other words, let's go into McDonald's here and get a senior coffee. And, and, and let, um, so I got, I said, well, I got 64,000 miles. She says, again, unless you're, you know, got a skip or. Isn't everybody thrilled by Tim's content? And his stream of consciousness talking. Aren't you glad I'm reacting to this? Please watch my content and not Tim. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's the best way you can help me out as a creator is subscribing. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever. Don't mess with it. I'm like, well, I have 80,000. I'm sure gold. she didn't say you never have to change them. And my truck does run good. So guess what I'm going to do? I ain't going to mess with it. Nobody else is here. Trump's not here. Yeah, how you doing? Is Trump in today? <laughs> Uh, is any size coffee a dollar here? <laughs> uh, that joke fell as flat as the back of Tim's head. No, hot coffee. How much is how much is large hot coffee? Okay, can I get a senior coffee with three creams, please? Uh, no, ma'am, that'll be it. Thank you. No, I'm going. This lady got in. Thank you. This lady got in front of me, and she just blew it racing well you don't know lady you just never know hey look she's from fulton county georgia hey she might actually have work to go to like a prison job and you're just rolling around talking nonsense in your car for 17 minutes almost 18 lord keep going tim keep keep remember keep drinking those shots if he says coffee yeah. atlanta <laughs> how about that that's why he needs the urinal well, i'd love to buy you a cup of coffee there miss tim you understand that coffee's a diuretic correct Caffeine. Caffeine will diurese you. Diurese means make you pee. And so we have kind of assumed that's the reason why you carry the urinal in the car. In case you're not able to make a pit stop and you just need to go. But it's pretty unsanitary. And it was kind of <laughs> gross. I'm just saying. Okay. When you I, I'm, I'm looking at you as a healthcare professional, and I'm seeing a man who carries a urinal in a car and a lot of stuff. So it's just that those homosexual vibes. Okay, keep going. But not for you. Living you guys like my, my blue shirt? I kind of like this color. I got on some uh, some blue shorts and my go-to-hell white tennis shoes, man. I'm looking <laughs> pretty good. I'm feeling good. I'm a little thinner. I don't know how much, weigh, how much I weigh less, but I'm definitely a little thinner, I think. And this is day uh, 17, I think, on the uh, dinosaur diet, uh, the no food diet. And uh, you definitely uh, will lose weight in inches if you don't eat. And that's what this diet is. Uh, the only thing you eat is meat, just meat. Meat, and thank goodness you allow coffee. And if it didn't allow coffee or the heavy whipping cream or even half and half, I don't care what it's called and what it would do for me, I wouldn't do it. At least I wouldn't eschew that part from my diet. <laughs> and I got my parts in from uh, I just hope you have your cardiologist on speed dial. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anybody who's eating a, a very, you know, it's still going to have saturated fats despite the quality of the meat. Just keep an eye on those cholesterol numbers, everybody. Just keep an eye. You know, one of that stuff in your arteries. Amazon today. Here's my uh, little back plate thing. It says 26 on there. It goes on the back of the gun at the uh, slide. Uh, it's a Glock 26. And then I've got some mm. uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, sights that has a little tool as well and i'll um have to take the barrel off of it and everything and, and put it on but there's a couple of screws that are so small i'm not even thinking about taking them out of the package until 
I have a white table with yeah, a clear uh, glass. How, how are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? Oh, good. I love your eyelashes. Thank you. It's 85 cents. 85 cents? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, my God. That went down into the, uh, never will find it. I got a okay. senior card. You're not paying attention, That's it. Tim. But I can't, my credit card went down to the. Oh, I can see finally on the side of his head. Okay, I thought he had sutures here, but I don't think he does. I think that was just his hair. He took his Band-Aid. I see his Band-Aids come off. He's had his little biopsy over here. People were saying that it seemed like his labs are going to take a long time to come in, and that's probably because of the lab that the health insurance company uses. So one of the things that you'll find out is obviously, you know, lower cost insurance plans that maybe have higher deductibles may potentially go to labs that take a longer processing time. That's why they're a little less expensive, or maybe that's why that insurance company picked them. And there's other labs where you're, you know, guaranteed they're not going to lose the sample. The results are going to come back quickly. If a dermatologist is really suspicious for something like melanoma, which I'm guessing since they said seven to 10 days, maybe potentially she wasn't that concerned. She's just kind of ruling out and uh, you can get a biopsy back very quickly. So obviously none of these are urgent because it's taking time to come back. So, um, but you know, it depends on the insurance company too. So that's, there's lots of different labs because we used to leave them out for different, you know, we would need to know which patient carried which insurance so we could send it to the appropriate lab. Yeah. Can you some sugar? Okay. So Trump's not in? I just want to get milk. She has no idea what he's talking hey, there's about. Behind there you go. Hey, how much is your order behind me? Oh, here we go. Is, um, I'll take care of it. Okay. Oh, we got hard for the manager again because <laughs> I just used my credit card. Uh, so here we have, you know, Tim's got to show because we called him out so many times that he does not pay it forward that he needs to show this because i know his coffee donations have probably ticked back up again um so yeah because he he relies on that money i'm sure because his views are okay he's making you know a thousand or a couple of thousand a month maybe on his youtube channel he's not making like he used to though and uh he might be having to go back to doing uh food samples if he's not careful <laughs> yeah it's a security measure he's probably making enough Takes just a second his SS. thank you all right time. have a nice day miss I don't need the receipt. All right, so we got to buy somebody, whatever, five dollars, four dollars or something. Hey, look, press the button. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, we getting a wave. I always say I wish he would donate these to people who obviously are maybe more in need. His charitable acts are not really acts of charity; they're acts of him showing his narcissism and his ego. In my opinion, these are all performative things. Uh, Tim does this to kind of capture that Christian audience that he tries to get, in my opinion. I don't really feel that Tim does this as a selfless act. I don't think he really cares about the welfare of those behind him in the car. I think really, like I said, it's a performative thing from Tim that he does this because he knows it generates good uh, donations to his buy me a coffee. It gets these older folks to think that he's out here just, you know, spreading joy and positivity. I see that now that Tammy is out of the picture, that he's kind of back to his ways that he kind of was when he was out West. Mm, not, nothing changed him. Hey, nothing's changed. This is the joy of your life. Hey, yeah, you gave. Why don't you send your grandkids something? Uh, what are you sending to your family? They may want that money more than this stranger. You, it's just, it's so performative to me. All right, keep going. Hey, we got a oh. beat. Yay! Um, what a day. That's the way to start it off, folks. And then go hit some balls. Hmm. Oh, we got some traffic coming here. Another gorgeous day in South Florida. You talk. I feel that Tim might be a lonely man. <laughs> and then this channel gives him a chance to say all the stuff that's going on in his head that he doesn't get to say to anybody else. He just stream of consciousnesses everything out, you know. He really needs to get people who are friends and not people that he tries to figure out what is he going to gain and get from them. I mean, true friendships. Talk about wanting to leave, but it's gorgeous everywhere uh, about now. And, you know, as long as I get back, within a reasonable period of time. 
I figured on being gone if I took off on a trip back to Laughlin. Um, I'd uh, probably take a week or 10 days to get there, a week or 10 days to get back. And then I'd probably say, I don't know, two weeks. I don't think that's wise until you get all this cleared up. I think you need to try to take care of all your issues with your, your health before you go roving out. Or you need to change your insurance in this open enrollment period that allows you to have more travel and still access your health care. That's just my advice for somebody who is starting to get a little older, who has problems with his eyes, who's getting things on his skin, who is, um, you know playing around with his diet in order to get good health. These are not things that I necessarily recommend. Weeks to a month there. So what do you say? Two months, month and a half, a month and a quarter, over a month from the time I leave before I get back. And that's really not much time. I mean, that's not a, a bad little uh, little journey. And, you know, you're not going to deal with any cold winter weather, you know, if I were to do that anytime soon, uh, because we're not going to experience any of that. I thought you were buying a house, Tim, or a condo. You were like real estate, Tim. Recently, you were rolling around the neighborhoods, looking at all these houses, spending Miss Tammy's money. <laughs> now you're in your car, getting coffee. Until, you know, December, January, that kind of thing, right? Folks, senior coffee at McDonald's, baby. Let's try it out. Nice and hot. It's always so good. I'm telling you, folks, this is the good, this is the best. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. Oh. you got to try it. <laughs> I hope those people back there got a coffee. Oh. It's early enough. I hope they did. <laughs> wow, that is good, good coffee. I made the gold this morning, and uh, I want to thank the subscriber for that that uh, contributed to the uh, Buy Me a Coffee, and I've got plenty of it. Should get me through a, a lot more while yet. I don't think, you know, meat, coffee, and cream is like the, the, the breakfast of champions that you need today, Tim. That sounds like a, that sounds like a recipe for a coronary event. I'm, just, I'm not teasing. I know. Just it's concerning from the old cardiac rehab nurse over here. I'd like to see his heart rate. <laughs> well, so I got that Maxwell house that Miss Raffaella gave me. And today I'm receiving my egg him. cooker uh, thanks to another a uh, subscriber that donated to the buy me a coffee fund and i ordered it immediately on amazon and uh it cooks uh six eggs at a time in 15 minutes no muss no fuss and easy to peel and it's all part of the, the carnivore diet somebody sent you something to cook eggs <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Um, i'll uh, show you my little egg cooker we'll do a tutorial on it when i receive no. it should be delivered today I got my, uh, I've been buying a lot of stuff on Amazon. Wait. I should have used my own link. I got my little selfie stick. Best one in the entire world. Best one I've ever used in my life. Uh, of course. The best one he's ever used in his life. Is this is this got an affiliate link? Did somebody send this to you as, as a product code? How many uh, uh, you know brand deals are you getting, Tim? What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. The same old. Now he's talking about going back out west. Oh, Lord. Okay. I, Keep going. And... Uh, <laughs> Cars are coming in hot. I got to move over. Oh. And I received my shift, my steering wheel knob here, which is awesome. And uh, what else am I getting? Oh, yeah, I'm getting a couple of new uh, front tags. I'm getting a CC Rider, a custom tag for the CC Rider here. Oh, sounds like you're just, you know, spending your money in the most wise ways possible for somebody who's aging and whose health might be, you know, having some things that could cost money in the future. Yeah, let's just buy knobs for a steering wheel and stuff. Sounds sounds practical. Keep going, Tim. And replacing the um, <clears throat> the crusher tag. Oh, he's got the glaucoma the glasses on crusher today. Tag. Okay, so he's got kind of some glaucoma glasses on. Maybe he watched my video yesterday. You cannot be rolling out with that glaucoma without sunglasses ever. Even in that drive-through, you need to take the you need to be full time having those stapled to your head, Tim, for the sake of your eyeballs. And, uh, and that's about it right now. And I'm just going to continue uh, doing it. That won't arrive until, hmm. Oh, what am I thinking? Folks, man, I had, well, no problem. No problem. You're going to believe what I'm going to tell you. Mm. First, I was going to say, oh, <laughs> it's only the 23rd. I'm going to be grounded here until election day. And, you know, of course, I wouldn't ever leave without voting. <laughs> but I just realized, uh, Fred Raffaella and myself, are voting today, this morning. I got all day to get over there. I'm gonna hit a bucket of balls and get all pumped up. 
and then I'm going to head over to the uh, to the uh, voting uh, area. And there's only a certain amount of them, and they run starting yesterday through November two. And uh, so I'm going to knock that out, baby. Knock that out right away after this driving range episode. And then of course we'll be going to the car wash. I have a list of things on my phone that I got to get at Walmart. So we'll be. I'm curious as to where Tim lists his home address for his voting registrar. I'm curious. I'm curious. Did, is he using this new couple's address? He's got this new couple. Can you not leave married couples alone, Tim? Like always trying to smooch, smooch off of the, somebody else's wife <laughs> or cooking. Yeah, I'd be so irritated. I wouldn't cook for him. Maybe once for dinner. That's it. Out, mate. <laughs> you going there? Tim. You want know to go buy? Some JB Weld. <laughs> That's my last resort to put that little knob back on my sink spigot. It is uh, a real pain to grab the little round thing and, you know, work with it without any leverage. So I know that JB Weld should make it solid as a rock. Mm-hmm. So I'll get that. And then I've got some other things on my list uh, that I'll, um, I'll pick up at Walmart and some more uh, food, uh, non food, you know, the kind you can eat, uh, but you can't eat. And I am here. I don't see anyone at the driving range or here. The golf course, I believe, is still closed. Some people come in here and have breakfast. Uh, this is Greens of Manatee, a golf club. I've got a little card. If you uh, buy so many buckets, you know, you get a free one. And I think it's $5 for a small bucket. There's another uh, driving range over here. It's very nice. I went there once. It's called uh, Suncoast. And uh, it's, it's it's a little more expensive, but it's a very nice uh, driving range. Or hit a bucket at the uh, golf course where I play today and practice punting and chipping and doing that kind of thing. I'm here at Greens of Manatee Golf Club. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be open anytime soon. I think Tim might have actually done some editing. I'm shocked. I'll ask him when I go in. The course looks pretty good. They got it cleaned up. They, they suffered some pretty good uh, damage from the trees that were laying all around in the fairways and stuff. Um, and it looks like they're getting it together. It's been here forever. Uh, it's a very cheap price for a, a bucket of balls. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in and get a bucket for five bucks, get my little card checked off. That'll be about three. And I got two more before I get a free bucket. And then I'm going to go vote. And go to the gym and go to the park. And then we're going to think about very seriously, uh, my primary just called me, uh, getting my um, appointment in my labs done tomorrow. And uh, thinking about, you know, heading on heading on out west or doing something. I don't know, taking a trip. <laughs> Can you just wait? Can you just wait? Okay. In the, in the car. Got to figure it out. But I'm getting a little antsy and I want to go somewhere. Uh, because why? Because I can. And why do I want to do it? Because I want to crush it. Oh, gosh. We don't think Tim crushing anything, do we? Goodness me. Oh, all right. <laughs> wow. Well, we just got taken through Tim's day. I really don't have anything else to say. I'm just laughing because it's just... I have made response videos to this stuff where I literally am just rolling around in my car talking. He's just in his car talking. That's why he's, he's, I mean, he could literally just splice these all together and make one video a day, but he would never get enough views. So he has to put out like three or four of these things, five or six, seven or eight. <sighs> oh, gosh, exhausting. All right, guys, if you did like this type of content, Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to support me. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know uh, what's your favorite type of coffee, if any. (laughs) All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.